Hi, my name is Diego Aguirre. That's me there hanging from the rim. And I am currently a junior at Delaware Academy High School in Delhi, New York. Not New York City, or any of its boroughs, but rather upstate New York. No skyscrapers, no taxis, no busy streets, but rather mountains, valleys, dirt roads. Anyway, we're still affected by COVID-19, and I have a lot more time on my hands now. So I run a lot more, and a lot harder. And as a result of all of this extra training, I decided to do a fitness test today. So I got my electric skateboard, a bag with running shoes, a tripod for my timing app, and I headed over to my local track for a time trial. Today is Saturday, April 26th, or 20, no, 25th, sorry. And I will be doing a 3200 meter time trial here. The weather, it's about 55 and cloudy, and I believe, if I recall correctly, the wind was blowing north to south in the valley, so from the school to the opposite end of the track at about 7 miles an hour, which really might not seem like much, but when you're 6'4 and your body acts like a sail, trust me, it's not fun. However, you know, you can't control the weather, and I didn't really want that to ruin the time trial. And if anything, it's just another challenge. As far as what I'm actually wearing for the time trial and how we're timing it, I have an Apple Watch on me that was supposed to be giving me GPS readings, but it really wasn't working. So instead, I have it kind of going as an extra stopwatch in case the timing app that we're using fails. It's called, I think, Sprint Timer. I found it on Instagram, actually. I'm sure you know of Thomas Boyden. He's a Stanford commit. I DM'd him and asked him what app he was using, and he told me Sprint Timer. It's pretty good. It's mounted on that tripod and that you'll see in a second, and then this film is coming over uh, an iPhone. As far as what I'm doing, and like why I'm wearing the shoes I'm wearing. So I wanted to wear spikes for this, but when I was, I, was, I did a track workout on Thursday. We'll get into it later. And I wore my spikes for the second rep of that. And I was getting some severe pain in the arch of my foot. So I decided to put on these uh, next percents for this. Unfortunately, they have about 60 miles on them. So they don't make me go 5% faster anymore, which I don't really think was an accurate number to begin with. But like they're pretty burnt up and torn up on the bottom. And they've been worn a lot. But they were nice because they gave me a lot of support. And my arch didn't really hurt much. But they were still light. And then... You probably have noticed by now, too, we're coming up, we just passed 600 meters in, that I have a little fanny pack on. There's actually an iPhone in there, and I'm listening to, pretty sure it was like a, it, it was a playlist I made myself of a bunch of Andrew Lloyd Webber songs from Cats and Phantom of the Opera, because, you know, with COVID, he releases a YouTube video every single Saturday of one of his plays, and tonight... Well, this weekend is the um, sequel to The Phantom of the Opera, which is pretty nice. So I just came through the 800 and about 220, 221, and my first 400 was 108. So I'm, you know, I'm going pretty fast, but right now we're about to have an issue. So we're at about 900 meters in now, give or take. And my dad tries to zoom in and get really fancy with, like, the shot. And right about now he's going to accidentally stop filming. And then I wrote another 400, and then he starts filming again. So now we're not at, this is not the 1,000. This is actually about the 1,400 mark that we just passed. But, I mean, it sucks that we lost that footage, but it doesn't really matter that much to me because this was just like a preliminary time trial for the 3,200, and I plan on doing many, many more. Like, I didn't really taper for this one or anything, and I intentionally left a lot of variables like that that were, you know, designed intentionally to hinder my performance because I plan, I mean, I trained through this. On Wednesday, I ran 21, yeah, no, 20.6 miles at about 620 something per mile. And then Thursday, I did two by 3200s. That was when I started having the pain in my foot, but my foot didn't hurt at all during this, which is nice. But that was actually a pretty fun workout. I think, um, if I recall correctly, I ran 953 for the first one in a pair of uh, Flyknit racers, so an old marathon racing shoe that I think was introduced back in 2012 for London. And then I used an old pair of XC spikes for the second 3200, and that's when my foot started hurting. But 
so now we're at about 1800 meters into this time trial i'm pretty sure my 1600 was about four it was either 40 442 or 443 which is a decent speed for me to get out but ideally i want by the end probably about mid-may i'm going to be shooting to for my first 1600 to be sub 440 and then my second 1600 can be 444 but again this is just like you know I mean, it's like an all-out effort, but it's early on in the season, and this was just worked into a workout day. Like, Saturdays would usually be a workout, but now every Saturday will be a different time trial, and every Saturday I'll be uploading a video like this that kind of details that week of training as well as the time trial. So even though, yes, this is a time trial, like it, I'm perfectly okay with the fact that I was 15 seconds off of my target time because it's early on. And 9.35 is still a pretty big PR for me. I think it's about 13 seconds, which is a decent amount of time to cut off in a matter of months. And to be able to do that without anybody, you know, pacing me or anything, I mean, this entire time trial is done purely off of how it feels so what I'm doing is I'm essentially just running at like what feels to me like a threshold pace. So just hard enough to where it doesn't like fully hurt yet. And I'm not completely out of breath, but I'm close. And even though I do have a watch on me, it's unfortunately not really. I mean, it's going, but the rule is, is that I'm not supposed to look at it and I'm not supposed to know how fast I'm going or anything because this is, you know, I'm trying to teach myself how to race without other people because what I usually do is I just sit on the leader and then with like in like a 1600 I'll sit for the first kilometer and then pull ahead and in a 32 I just sit for the first you know 3k honestly and then I'll crank out like a 31 or a 32 or even a 29 sometimes depending on the last lap but that's one advantage I guess of not having any meets right now is that I can kind of control all the variables and also you know just learn how I run and also to teach myself how to run without other people because I have no clue like what speed I'm going right now and I also unfortunately I couldn't get my splits because the phone wouldn't focus on the timer but it is it's it's definitely a challenge running not knowing like on it like right now for instance I probably think I'm running like a 66, but I'm probably running like a 76. Actually, no, I'm not running a 76 because if I came through. Anyway, it's still it's just hard to gauge exactly how hard I'm going. And I'm going to assume that I'm that was probably about 2800 in now. My form by now has really started to break down. I'm noticing that I've started to heel strike and lean forward a little bit too much, and I was recently told not to do that, and I need to fix that. It's a bad habit I got when I hurt my ankle. Last summer, I rolled my ankle. Well, I sprained it. I initially sprained it in May, and then from May to October, I re-rolled it and re-sprained it either eight or seven times. And then starting in October I didn't get to run for eight weeks which was hard and coming into our state meet for cross country I had nine miles in a two-month period which wasn't fun but I ran I was able with the I went to the pool a lot and I was able to run 1536 for a three mile which was all right but now since I'm healthy I've been training a lot and that's my attempt of a kick and that's me looking down at the watch in 935, 3200 time trial there in the books. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more every Saturday.